Hi, I'm Alan Kelly. I'm the senior colorist here at Filmlook Incorporated, and I'm going to be demonstrating the base light here. It's our um, latest uh, color correction system we have, and I'm about to do some color correction on a scene uh, where maybe it could be improved a bit. So what we have here is a shot that was shot with the Alexis, and um, it's shot in S-Log. So the first thing we're going to do is add a little bit of a curve to the image to give it more, more dynamics. And so what I'm going to do is just add a little bit more contrast. And then let's saturate it a bit, give it more of a creamy look to the coffee. And uh, let's put a little vignette around there. And let's pinch the corners a bit to give it a little more, more contrast and kind of give you more of a focus on the, what's going on in the center of the frame. Now, we already see that there's a problem here in that there's some splash of the coffee on the sides of the cup. And uh, that's an easy thing to do. All we have to do is uh, add another layer. And let's put in a shape. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to freehand it here and just kind of draw a shape. So. You can use the, the preset uh, sh shapes inside of base light, but I sometimes need to do like a a free-handed kind of shape. And there's our shape there. So now all we got to do is go into the shape itself. And let's add a little bit of, uh, of a blur on the inside. And you can kind of see how it's kind of blurring. Let's feather the edge of that like so. And we can even go inside there and kind of lighten it, darken it, what have you. And uh, that looks pretty good at this point, but now let's see what it looks like in motion. Well, you can kind of see the edge of the, of the shape right here. That's not satisfactory. You want it to track. So what we're going to do is go back to the head of the, sh head of the shape, and then we add our area tracker, which is, is incredible in base light. It uh, tracks it very nicely. Let's uh, let's do a forward track. That's the end of the shot. Let's go back to the beginning and let's see what what it looks like with the motion tracking in place. It's pretty good, except we want to refine the edge a bit more. So let's go into our user sh user uh, image and let's. Let's move these right here. Oops, back up. Let's grab these and move these up a bit so we don't get the edge of the coffee as it's coming up here. There we go. And that's what it looks like in motion. Okay, so this is what we started off with. That's the correction we've made and that's the final look. Now we can still tweak from this point on. We can actually increase contrast even more or, or saturation or I can even pinch the corners even further. Pinch the corners even further like so. Let's see how that plays. Actually it's pretty good but let's soften that even further here. Let's lighten that edge a bit. There. Looks pretty good. Right back. So there you have it. We have a correction of a coffee cup with some splash on the back of the cup. And uh, that's the base light. I hope you enjoyed it.